law. So if you are someone who is trying to improve the responsiveness of your Linux machine, uh, like uh, um, let me show you three examples on how you can improve your responsiveness of your Linux machine. So the first one which we are going to do is we are going to install like uh, a package. So we are going to use for this case I'm using Arch. So this one is available on AUR. So paru dash s and then ec. So this is the first package which we are going to install. So NNEC is a auto nice daemon. So what this will do is uh, this will automatically take care of managing the niceness of process of your system. So basically you will get like a little bit more responsiveness by because this will be managing the priority of each process while it's running on the system. So the next thing, so it's installed right now. So the next thing we have to do is uh, systemctl enable and an ec dot service. So you can do that. You have to enter your password. Then if you do a sudo sudo and an ec dump proc, you can see the current niceness values which are allocated for each process which is running in your system. So you can see like alacrity, CSH for my system. So things like that. So this will like uh, improve your responsiveness of your system while you are doing gaming or uh, video editing or like some demanding tasks. The next one we are going to look at is called no hang. So we can do a paru dash s no hang. So this will install the no hang package so it's an OAM like out of memory execution manager so what this will do is like if some process like uh, goes out of memory and it's causing a crash or something this will take care of the process even before it causes a system crash so this is like a better implementation like uh, you can say like uh, Linux kernel itself is having an OAM managing system, but that usually comes out a little bit slower. So this one like comes faster comparing to that. So this will prevent something like a system crash or kernel crash from happening because of out of memory execution. Then the next thing is you can install CPU power dash GUI. So this one is like a package to manage your CPU performance corners. So I will show you how to do that in the end of the video. Right now we just installed it but uh, we forgot to do one thing so do um, like uh, system CTL enable we forgot to enable no hang service. So no hang desktop service or uh, no hang dot service we can enable both of them okay wrong password so that's how you use uh, these two projects so if you look over here you have this uh, wiki page on github where it says like uh, you can read the documentation and uh, how to use or you can see how you can make custom profiles for an EC. So an EC works based on like it's having some profiles by default. So it uses those profiles to put niceness values for your processes. So you can see how you can create your own custom rule for this. So that's entirely up to you. So you can see like a nice, if you do a man a nice, you can see the available a nice values. You can see like, you can check for errors if you do a general CTL. So that's pretty much it. So before installing an EC, you have to be like, you have to install 
um, the scheduler tool so here if you come to the github page you can see like uh, how you can install this on different distributions so that's that then this is for no hang so i cannot give you like i cannot show you how it's working because i cannot put a process out of memory right now like i can do a dd but that breaks the purpose of this video so you can try no hang if you are someone who performs gaming or video editing on your system to improve the responsiveness so cpu power what it does is uh, it will it's having graphical user interface like this so i'll show you in a moment so what it does is it's having a first screen so if i switch to my system and if i open like uh, cpu power graphical user interface so it's opened up a little bit weird so let me try floating mode okay so this is the window for cpu power gui so how you manage this is pretty straightforward you select profiles according to your usage by default you have like balance profile or uh, you can use performance profile according to your usage so this will change the cpu governor according to your configuration here you have like options to choose your default profile at boot then you can like uh, enable all cpus or uh, you can leave it to the default here you can create your own custom profile if you want so these are your cpu cores like uh, minimum core speed and maximum core speed you can see like current frequency of the cpu here you have options to set you can select uh, whichever processor core you have like you want to customize and you can modify that and you have like a cpu governor you can choose whichever cpu governor policy you want if you want something like performance or power save if you're on a laptop you can like use on demand power save something like that if you want pure performance you can switch to performance profile or else the last way of uh, adding more speed is installing the sun kernel if you want or sand mod kernel so for that you can like uh, basically go to sudo pacman s linux dash sen and then you can add the configuration to like after you install this you can to cd if you cd into let me increase the size okay so you can install this by using um sudo pacman dash capital s uh, you have to use uh, linux dash send then what you're going to do is you're going to after installing this cd into slash hc and no like if you open up sudo vim slash etc make in it cpio like uh, cpio dot d inside this directory uh, i'm sorry you have this preset linux dot preset so you have to copy this preset and instead of uh, vm linux linux you have to rename it to linux dash sen and linux dash send dash img so this will set up like your kernel this will create your uh, cpio files for you then you have to add it to boot like if you use vim and open up uh, cd boot loader entries if you open up that file here you can add uh, vm linux dash linux dash send and here linux dash send dot img so that will give you like uh, sun kernel so if you are installing sun mode you have to customize that according to that so i hope uh, this session was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day